Hello, Janet. This is live session. Thank you so much for coming. Long time. Can't wait to see you. Thank you for always coming. We are not giving up. We are still here. God has been good to me. God has been good to you. If you're coming to watch me here, be thankful. God has been good to you. I know it's been a while since I came, but I always deliver. I never give up. If God has been good to me, I will show up. Okay? At some point, I think all of us now we are accepting the virus is here. I love all of you for coming. Always, I love you for always coming. Okay? Welcome. Sometimes when I mention them, I forget. Don't forget, Janet is back. Subscribe on YouTube, Janet Rangi. Okay? Always continue liking Facebook. Facebook likes. Okay? We are going 100,000 followers. Okay? That is our goal. We went to Slumberland a little bit, but we are back. Continue following JanetRangi.com for all the old videos. Some of them are too old, and I know all of you like new things. I continue making new things for you, new videos. Okay? God has been good to us so far. They are not very good news, very bad news. We are losing so many people. All of you, I know you watch news. Okay? But the New York State governor has said we are going down the mountain. For those of you who followed me for a while, we went through a graph and we said the peak is the worst and then we we'll start going down. So now we are going down. So we are thankful we are here. We are praying for everyone that has been affected and we want to always stay healthy. But for now, the virus is here to stay, my friends. This is the time for you to show strength. This is not the time where if they don't have a vaccine, accept it's here. But we can't stop living. We are going to keep marching forward and doing the right things until the vaccine comes. Okay? The reason we were hiding in the homes is to control the number of people that get sick at once. But for you to say, oh, Corona is gone, it's, go it's not going anywhere. Keep praying. Keep watching, guys. I'm so sorry a phone call came in. I thought I blocked, but something happened. Okay, but I'm back. So keep praying, my friends. Okay, the coronavirus is here, but now at least we know what corona is. Don't we know what corona is? Now we know. Okay, having said that, as you can see today's title, today's title is green card. Okay, what will happen to the green card? Some of you, you apply for the green card. It's coming in May. Okay, and let's deal. Some of you, you watch the tweet, and now you know, oh, things are going no more, America. I posted down here, if you are a new person, you go down this page, you will see my comments, you will see everything I talked about, okay, I posted about green card, 60 days delay, it could have been worse, okay, that's all, and most of the embassies right now, they are closed, so, for coronavirus, so we're gonna wait for 60 days, okay, alright, so, what did they say about the green cards? The green cards that will be filed abroad will be delayed. There will be no processing. Consular processing, meaning embassies outside the United States, they are not going to process the green card. They are not abolishing the green card, but for 60 days it will be held. The point why, I don't know, don't ask me why. All I know, coronavirus has closed anyway. Most embassies are not even working anyway. Okay, so just be patient. If you're one of those people who are DV 2020, be patient, okay? Because now the order went in April 23rd, and it's going to go April, May, and June, two months. Two months of blocking. So from June 23rd, they will start processing. If you're one of those people who want DV 2020, you have July, you have August, and you have September. We have three months. So we hope that the embassy will start racking up and doing things much quicker, much quicker so that you fit in those three months and they will be processed so you can come here. Good to see all of you. I see your comments. Thank you so much for coming. So it has been held. For those who are coming in late, green card held for 60 days. We still have three months. And now we pray that once they open the embassy, we'll be among the first ones. Because as soon as October 1 comes in, they start processing DV 2021. Okay, so we hope if you want, the three months that will be remaining, they will process you and everything will be okay. So don't panic. The power of prayer, keep praying, keep putting your documents together, keep doing everything they told you. Have your documents ready. 
Okay? All right. They say spouses and children of U.S. citizens, they will not be affected. Those who are here in the United States trying to change to green card, they will not be affected. This will not affect your visiting visa. This will not affect your student visa, your temporary visas. This has not been affected, okay? The whole issue went to the green cards. Why? As I can say, I am not a political person, but I don't know why. We are just going to wait for 60 days. Let's call this a delay. Let's go, uh, call this a hiccup. Move on. Okay? That is what we, this is our approach here. Okay? It's a hiccup. It's a delay. We are going to wait. June 23rd, we start coming in big numbers. Okay? All right. For those who applied for DV 2021, you had a passport, you came on this page and they say have a passport ready by the time people came to realize they needed passports us on janet rangi we were prepared we were looking for passports as we were just applying so keep janet follow keep following janet rangi there are people here they went to apply the green card they were told no no green card unless you have a passport this was for the first time since the green card lottery was put in place they needed you to have a passport. But Janet Rangi followers used to follow. They had all this information. They had their passports ready. So we are hoping that when the results come out, we will win. The results are supposed to come out in May. They might delay them in June. Who cares? A win is a win. We will check whether in May. We will check whether it's in June. Janet Rangi, obviously, I'll post here the correct links. I'll post here the correct websites. Thank you so much for watching everywhere. And from now on, keep following. I'm going to start a new session where I'll be covering your questions. I realize I'm just the only one. Most of the sessions here, I'll be coming with your questions. And I'll be reading. And in fact, today I have two questions which I will tackle and make sure that all of us understand. Going forward, we are going to evaluate ourselves. Are we essential workers or not? How many of you have done sociology, psychology, or education? They have some, oh, healthcare. We, we, we learned about uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Huh? Can some of you write commenting? You're very smart. Janet Ranke followers are very smart. You know the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, basic needs, food, water, shelter, right? So you want to be in those industries that provide food, health, water, okay? The, the health care. We are going to be smart now. From now, because now we know who is the essential worker. <laughs> we okay? All right. So we are going to choose professions that are in demand, professions that are essential. Okay? Professions that, all right? So all of you coming, welcome. We have accepted Corona is here to stay. I've accepted. And I'm going, I'm not going to accept defeat. I'm not going to stay there like in a kakuna, in a kakuna, in a kakuna until when life has to go on. Okay? All right. Yeah, yeah, I see all of you. So do we have any questions on the green cards? I hope we don't have any questions. This is a hiccup. It's just a two months de delay. Okay. Melissa is watching from diaspora. I have so many followers in the diaspora. Okay. In the Western world, Europe, Canada, America. And then we have my people, Malawi, Blantyre. Okay. Zambia, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Tanzania in the house. Today I have a question from tanzania the other question is from a kenyan represent your country ask your questions i'll come with your questions next time okay so if you are hanging here call your cousins most of you you call your cousins i get these messages janet my cousin referred you to me it was the best referral i ever got now i'm in america huh? okay if you are new on this page con co consider following us on this page, we are not those kinds that just go and talk and talk and talk and talk. Talk for what? Action. Don't see Janet Rangi here and think that we talk. As soon as Janet Rangi is from here, everything I'm presenting here is research. Okay? I go read, I present. My followers listen, they go and read. Some of them are doing SATs, they are doing admission processes, they are putting in green cards, they are learning the, um, a lot about their professions, they are wanting to do their masters, they are wanting to do their PhDs, they are applying for marriage visas, they are applying for green cards. Action! On this page, we are never about cheap talk, we are action and we see results. We are very, very result oriented. We are forward thinking and we look for solutions. We are never sitting down defeated and defeated like blah, blah. No. Let me go to the first question today, okay? Keep following. From now, we'll be having Janet Rangi, Ask Janet Rangi session. 
First question comes from Tanzania. Uh huh. Someone, Frank is watching from Uganda. Welcome. I love you. I love those love signs. That girl in the yellow dress, she loves me so much. Okay, I love you back. I'm 28 years old from Tanzania. I graduated from medical school 2018, working as a general practitioner. Okay, that's a question. That's a doctor asking me from Tanzania. I have a dream of working as a doctor abroad, but surely don't know how and where to start. That is a perfect Janet Rangi follower. Okay, I don't know where to start. They end up here. Okay, a friend of mine told me about you. Okay. And I thought I could ask if there is any way you can help me. I would like to study further, work, and have a decent life abroad. Perfect. From where? Tanzania, 28 years old, has graduated medical school, doesn't know where to, to, start, to start. We are going to make strong communities one person at a time. Okay? We are going to make this one to get dollars. American dollars. American dollars. Yes, we are going to make this one convert in American dollar sent back home, help the children, help the families. Okay? If you are a medical doctor listening, JanetRanky.com, I've made a full video on how to become a doctor in the United States. Okay? But generally speaking, you'll have to do USMLE, which is United States Medical Licensing Exam. What did I say? United States Medical Licensing Exams is part one, part two, and sometimes part three to make your application stronger okay so after you pass part one and part two so the doctor listening to me you just go to any google if you google usmle it will be right there pang and your dream will begin the reason why we exist here is to sensitize you that what you see on the website is real janet has seen it janet has lived it and i'm telling you stop sleeping on your ears stop sleeping on ears be like the whole world okay Part one, part two, part three. No, part three is not mandatory, but you just have to have a good score in USMLE part one and part two. United States Med Medical Licensing Exam. Okay? After you pass those two, you want to join a postgraduate medical residency training position. Okay? How do you do that? You have to get a ECFMG certification. All these things, if you go to the website, they'll be real because Janet has told you, by the way, before I even continue, I was reading, I can't quote which was my source, but they said in every, uh, one in every four doctors is a foreign doctor. Did you know that in the United States? One in every four is a foreign doctor. One in every eight nurses in the United States is a foreign nurse. Okay? Statistics. All right? So you will have to get the ECFMG certification which you'll have to show your medical degree, which is a certificate that you graduated medicine. You'll have to show the medical transcripts, which will show what did you do, okay? Anatomy, did you do biochemistry, wherever you did, the transcripts will show that. And then you will show your scores for part one and part two USMLE, okay? And then you will apply to different universities for residency programs. Go for family medicine, pediatrics, psychiatry are easy to get in. Of course, surgery, plastic surgery, those are more difficult, very competitive. That's just a general rule, okay? Then you get your, the, the residency program will help you to get a J1 visa and you'll be here in America. You'll work, you'll earn $45,000 per year. Once you graduate, you can earn as high as $200,000, $300,000 per year. Are we on the same page? Doctor from Tanzania, I've given you a rundown. That's all you need for smart people. They just need Janet to give them that one, one piece of information. The rest, they fill in the blanks. In two years, I should be seeing you here, okay? Now, having said that, I know during Corona, there are many students who follow me around the world. We are here in America. We just see Americans saying, oh, unemployment benefits. Okay, they've been now, they've been followed. Some of them don't have a job. And then you see the Americans going to line up unemployment. They have these social programs helping them. Don't give up, my friends. You are the ones who will be their doctors in 10 years from now. Okay, that is just our journey. We struggle. They laugh at us. Our accent sometimes is not in the right place. Right now, they are having social programs. They are being protected. We are on the street. We have nothing to eat. We can be called names. Keep going. Keep reading your books. Pass those exams. In 10 years, you'll be the doctor on that floor treating patients. In five years, you'll be the RN. You'll be the nurse on that floor. That is the story of an immigrant. That is a story of strength.
okay we have so many things to tackle we are tackling poverty we are tackling challenges here we are being called names we are being chest left and right don't give up show up in class get your s pass your exams in 10 years you'll be the doctor on the floor the surgeon taking and saving people's lives period end of story that is the story of an immigrant okay all right so don't give up i know students all over the place i don't know if anyone has helped you with housing we just see all these people benefiting us we just keep on so long as you have food on the table you have a place to stay keep going strong if every immigrant was to tell you their story, you will cry. But in the end, you'll always win. You'll be the one who will be coming here, buying those homes on sale and saving the economy. You'll be the one going in that car dealership and buying that Mercedes Benz because you will have the best credit, you will have the best grades, and you will have the best degree in the United States. Why? Because right now you're an alien. You won't be an alien for too long because what? You have a story of resiliency. And your children are the ones who will become senators. They are the ones who will build railways they are the ones who will build the next car that is just how it works so i keep going corona will not put you down keep safe wear your mask work hard that is your story i know where you are i've been there there's nothing strange here okay it's never easy but we always always win we always win be strong that is the story of an immigrant okay so wherever you are question number two let me speak to this nurse this nurse is from kenya she called me she's janet Ah, I've always wanted to go to Canada. Then I started this Canada program and then they accepted me too early. So I had to pro to, to postpone until next year. But to be quite honest, Janet, I've always wanted to come to America. Then I applied to this school. They accepted me, but they told me to do the SATs, Janet. But now all the exams have been canceled because of coronavirus, Janet. And by the way, Janet, I'm planning to do NCLEX and maybe I'll come with Avant, Janet. So I don't know where to start okay <laughs> the things i see on my page okay i love my followers i love my followers okay now the nurse listening to me she doesn't even know whether to come as a student she doesn't know whether to come as a nurse sat is closed corona has blocked everything my friend hang in there you'll be here one day okay all right this is what i told the nurse first of all who told you every school needs sat dump that school that is asking for sat go look for another school that doesn't need sat go in there put in your paperwork apply come to america okay simple have i solved you that is that's why janet rank is here okay sat go google there are schools that do not need sat start a new process a new school that doesn't need sat apply get an i20 come to that school as always go to janetrangi.com here on facebook janet rangi on youtube look on how to become a nurse in america all these things i've done in good details i've given a long video on how to become a nurse if you are foreign if you're here in the united states if you did biology if you did history and you want to become a nurse janet has done it here everyone you know it's just a video but i'm telling you if you want to come as, as a student and they've closed coronavirus you can't do the exam go to a school that doesn't need sat simple if not i gave her the numbers avant is not the only one ita staff brought my sister-in-law okay she went for the exam in india she passed inter staff adivia adivia inter staff if you have an answer friend adivia inter staff she went did the exam is done in uh, india it's done in hong kong in europe we don't have any centers in africa yet passed the nclex after passing the nclex in less than six months she was here she works she's saving patients with coronavirus as we speak that was a very good investment american uh, the united states invested in her green card she's saving lives she's on the floor taking care of coronavirus patients okay that's just how life works you have a skill people will be ready to hire you okay so believe in yourself if i was a nurse let me just summarize i will be patient go through the the agents pass my nclex once you pass the nclex the road is clear you'll come now if you want to come as a student there are students here where's my friend from Al alabama i have a follower she came here on student visa she passed the nclex in the end she had like three or four offers of jobs and they were telling her they would give, all of them were willing to give her green cards but if you come as a student you will have to remain on student status show up in school so you show up in school you do the exam on the side you show up in school you do an ex exam on the side pass 
Okay? But if you wait home, you'll come with your husband, your wife, your children together in one group. The choice is yours. JanetRangi.com, you will learn about how to come here as a nurse, foreign nurse. Okay? Some of you are physical therapists. I've always said that is something people don't know. If you are a physical therapist and you have a master's, you can also come on a green card. Those two professions, nursing, physical therapy. If you have physical therapy, but physical therapy, you have to have a master's degree. Nursing, you need three years. That means diploma in some countries. Here we call them associate's degree. Three to four years, you get a green card. You can't go nursing two years and think they'll give you a green card. No, it doesn't work like that. You really have to be a registered nurse, okay? All right. So having said that, going forward, I'll be tackling your questions, right? Coronavirus, my friends, stay strong. Because I've realized we can choose to hide for how long? The only thing that will help us is the vaccine. So we'll continue wearing our masks and washing our hands and social distancing, avoiding humans. I mean, it's sad to say, but you can't, you can't be close to humans, okay? I mean, that's just because the human is the one who will cough in your face and give you corona without that you are not going anywhere okay we are here to stay so we are going to stay strong do you have any questions today today i've covered for those who came in late by the way the green card okay it has not been abolished it has been delayed for 60 days huh 60 days they've delayed the, the green card Temporary visas, we are still coming in. Student visas, H-1B, J-1, we are all coming in. Okay? It was just the green card people, and that is for 60 days. Now, this is the point you need prayers. Prayers work. Some people laugh at us because we have hope and prayer, but sometimes it works. We hope that in those 60 days, no one will say anything. Okay, we hope that we will not hear. Oh, we've extended this uh, this proclamation. No, 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 no. We are we are not going to handle that. That will be too much for us. We we will not be able to handle that. So we are praying to God today that these sixty days is the worst we have seen. Okay, I like Ref 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 Ojuang is saying let's boost our immune systems. That's all we have to do. I can tell Ref is our is watches Janet Rangi. We have to boost our immune systems because this, this, there is no treatment. So, you know, when the virus comes, it's our body that's going to fight. <laughs> okay, it's us. The body is going to fight those things. You'll just be feeling fever, fever, fever. You know, it's just... Da, 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 da. Did you know that is what's happening when there's fever? It's energy. You know, the immune system is in full action, full mode. That's why you have fever. Uh, and lose weight because it's producing massive amounts of energy and heat to fight the virus for us. Okay? Yeah. So that's what we are going to do. To wash our hands, wear the mask, stay away from humans. Eh? Some of you are young, no kissing and visiting your neighbors unnecessarily and going to places. Uh, you stay home. If you have to work, you work. Uh -huh. Doreen, I came in a bit late. We rewind and watch what I missed. Doreen, as always, rewind and go to Janet Rangi and keep watching. Eh? What's Judy saying? Pandemic will affect green, green card. No, I say the green card selection is still there in Kentucky. It comes from Kentucky. We will wait for the results. Whether they, it's supposed to come May, May, May 3rd. If it doesn't, we will go in June, but who cares? They will start processing in October up to 2021. We don't care. All we care is to win. Okay? But it's not affecting. They haven't stopped it, if that's your question. Okay, delays, delays in processing, consular processing, meaning those who are in the process of asking for a green card, it has been delayed. You can't go to any embassy and they give you a green card out there. That's what they mean. That's it. Uh huh. Edwin is like, let's keep hope alive. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we are going to, to see the finish line. At, at some point, I was like, wow, you know, this corona is going to finish me. Huh? Yes, I love all of you. I love all of you. Links to conferences. Uh huh. By the way, stop sleeping on your ears. Go start applying these things. At some point, Corona will come to an end. That's just the truth. And if you come to the end, and then that's when you're, 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 you're opening your blankets and yawning and, and like you just woke up. <laughs> that's not going to happen. You're not going to behave as if you just woke up. You're going to stay active. Stay active even in the house. huh? You need to be exercising and doing other things yes 
Yes, keeping the dream alive. I love all of you that are saying that. I will stay in the queue to keep my faith. Yes. Okay. Someone already have a visa for the summer intake. What is the way forward if I ask for? Yes. If you have F1, ask for the four. For, for students, I told you, apply. And I know some of you are having a hard time with your school DSO. Tell them to write a letter of hardship. You've lost your, your job or you, you are not having money during the pandemic. You need a work permit. Tell them to draft a paper letter. You put in the form, do your thing and keep quiet. Uh huh. Yes, yes. I love all of you. Edith Ogempo, I love you. Okay. Trusilla, wow. I was so referred to a friend. New followers. New followers, come in. You, you, you've not missed out. We are just starting. I'm going to start a session for Ask Janet Rangi. And all the questions you've been asking, by the way, for the last three years, they will show up. So keep showing up, not just for your question. The other people are asking questions on your behalf. You have someone here who has lived the life, who has tested the life, who has the courage, who has the confidence, who is not scared of no one, will come here, give you the truth as it looks. Huh? That's what I do here, okay? You have first-hand information. We are going to continue making our applications. We are going to learn Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Okay, we are going to know who is an essential worker. I know that is not right. Me, I believe everyone is an essential worker. But these names they are giving people out there, you know, we have to appreciate those who are working hard, by the way. Always in the healthcare industry. Okay, they never talk about those lab technicians that are looking at your results, coronavirus. We thank them. Respiratory therapists. You know, I worked on, an, on, on our floor. Those ventilators, Janet has worked with them. The respiratory therapists and the anesthetists, they come and scoop down. But after they are done, my friend, the show belongs to the nurse. You are there 24-7. They come in, do their job out. From there, the nurse is in there. So we congratulate all of them, of course, right now. We are calling them heroes. But I know most of us, we are essential workers. But we are going to observe the hierarchy of needs. We are going to put Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Google, some of you have not gone to college yet. Some of you have gone to college. Any college educated person must be knowing Maslow's hierarchy of needs is usually like a pyramid. It comes like this. Basic needs are the top. Okay, food and water, that is our basic need, right? Then we have, I think, uh, uh, health or safety. Okay, then there's love and belongingness. Okay, self-actualization is on bottom. I feel like I've achieved it, by the way. Self-actualization means you're happy with your life. You've achieved everything you wanted. In the end, you're like, God, if I die today, I think I've done what I needed to do. Okay? But we are going to focus on those professions that provide you food. They provide you water. They provide you security. They provide for you health. Okay? So that is what we are going to focus on to make ourselves stronger going forward. The green card is still here, my friends. Stay strong. Don't give up, okay? Remember to keep the dream alive and have a strong desire to succeed. The desire will push you over the edge. The desire will make you the best. You stand, you fall, you stand, you fall. You never give up. You know what? Because you're the best. Look at Janet. She's here going strong despite of corona, okay? We don't give up. God has given me life. I'm breathing. I'm thankful. I woke up today. I'm so happy. We keep praying for everyone else so that this disease goes away. The pandemic goes away so we can return to normal life. Meanwhile, we are not going to sit here as if the world has come to an end. We are going to prepare and continue doing what we have to do to succeed. Okay. Very nice seeing you today. Thank you so much for coming. That concludes my session. Subscribe on YouTube. Janet Rangi, thank you so much. I know I haven't been posting because even me, I get depressed. No, not too depressed. Okay? <laughs> okay, even me, I have issues. Okay. All right. Thank you for liking us on Facebook. And thank you for your reviews. For those who are new, welcome. This is a five-star page. Five-star reviews. People go and leave five-star reviews on this page and we love it. Thank you so much for our support. This new year, we are going even to grow further. We are going to have even more polished videos. We are going to start new videos for those people who are new so that they don't get lost. I love you back. Okay? I love all of you back. All right? Okay. My friends, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. All right. I'm trying to see if there will be a comment here. I love you for coming. Okay. Millie is like, thank you so much, Janet. 
all right i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for coming and bye bye